Okay, next we have the digital signature acceptance policy. Uh, most of the time when you have a company, if you have a lot of board members, sometimes you need two board members to approve a decision. Sometimes you just need one, they need to approve a decision. That's technically how you see it. Approve a decision, one approve a decision. It all depends what's in the legal document of the co company. That's technically how you need to see it. So sometimes it's hard to get a um, signature from one of those person because they are not in the office or whatever. You can put a digital signature appearance policy and you can put in a system how the other person can give the signature, sig digital signature um, approval so you can have that record in your company system or in company those um, archive that's technically how you need to see it so you can create a system most time when you have a system and you bought it some company they already have this yeah so you can use it but some company they don't and that's something you need to keep in mind so if you have a big company and you have five board members or three board members and sometimes you need two people to give permission and you want to have a policy that says when you meet the requirement of the policy you have a, dig a digital signature it's also important for shareholders meeting and all this other stuff so this is a policy that you can have and if you want this policy what you can do is just look in the description and then follow the link and follow the instruction you can uh, get it and if you have a question about it what you can do is just contact me the contact information in the description or just go on the discord and send me a private message i will see what i can do for you so i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next one